Good morning. My name is Manuka Su. We are making Sunday lunch. On today's menu, we have lamb stew, rice, caramelized carrots, and beetroot, traditional South African colors. Not seven, but colors. <laughs> starting to cut up my onions so that I can saute them I forgot to buy my bell peppers but we will make do with what we have so cutting up all my onions sauteing them until they are translucent and brown Then we have our lamb stew, just going to separate it and make sure that it's thawed properly. This is already cut up nicely. I just have a small rack of ribs that I'm going to cut up and add into my stew. We're gonna add garlic. garlic so I'm gonna add another spoon. I love to see in the morning the sun when it's nice and quiet. I enjoy doing this. I think I am a homemaker at heart because I thoroughly enjoy this. Let's add in our spices. We put in a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of biryani and a teaspoon of medium masala. fry everything together until it's all brown the trick to a good stew is to really really fry your spices together that is the trick to tasty stew so I'm gonna add in my two cubes of beef stock and then I'm gonna throw in the whole meat in there Mix up everything together. Fill the pot with water. Next, I'm going to add in fresh coriander. I picked it up from my garden. I'll rinse it up, cut it up, and then throw it in the pot.
fill up the pot with water. Lastly, we're going to grind in some pepper and put in our Worcester sauce for rich flavor. Then this is how our pot looks before we leave it to simmer and cook away. Then we will quickly tidy up and get rid of anything that we don't need to use at this time. Next up, we prepare our beetroot. I had cooked some beetroot earlier on, uh, which took one hour to cook. It's now ready. I've peeled it off. I quickly need to go to my compost section. I throw in all my kitchen scraps in my compost to use it later in my garden. beetroot and grate in the onion to make our beetroot salad I will put in a pinch of salt two tablespoons of vinegar and two and a half tablespoons of mayonnaise salad ready to be stored away until we use it up later